Hello and welcome to my channel, uh, CJ Wright's Books and Horror. Um, today's video is uh, a review of uh, The Dead Zone uh, by Stephen King. Uh, the Dead Zone was published in uh, 1979. And uh, this edition uh, that I have, uh, the blurb is on the inside cover. So, and it reads, um, The Dead Zone, awake in the dead zone and step into a nightmare. Recall in horror as you are touched by a young man cursed with the power to perceive the evil in men's souls and whose ability to see into the future forces him into a terrifying confrontation with a charismatic, power-hungry and infinitely dangerous man. Uh, the Dead Zone uh, follows a young man by the name of uh, Johnny Smith. Um, uh, who's involved in a horrific car accident and is uh, left in a coma for five years. Um, when he wakes up, uh, Johnny has the ability to uh, see into the future and uh, some type of uh, mind uh, reading capability. Um, this ability of his, of his comes out um, during his rehabilitation in hospital uh, when he has a vision during a uh, physio session of his uh, physiotherapist's uh, house catching fire uh, at the moment that he uh, grabs her arm. Uh, though Johnny uh, doesn't want the attention, uh, he gets it from the press and this leads uh, to being called in uh, to find uh, a serial killer by um, Sheriff uh, George Bannerman uh, of uh, Castle Rock. Um, this is kind of... Uh, the first uh, novel that, uh, that kind of introduces Castle Rock, which will uh, um, appear in a number of other um, Stephen King stories. Um, uh, though uh, Johnny gets uh, these feelings and visions, sometimes there are parts of them that uh, seem to be just out of his reach, as if they're locked away in a part of his mind. Uh, Johnny calls this part uh, that he can't access uh, the dead zone, uh, which is where uh, the book gets its uh, title from. Uh, the antagonist uh, in the dead zone uh, is a man by the name of uh, Greg Stilson. Um, from the first uh, introduction of, uh, of Stilson, uh, we are shown uh, the true character of the man. At the start of the book, he's uh, kind of a door-to-door -door -door Bible salesman who uh, he kicks a dog, a dog to death um, when it comes across his path, um, mainly for barking at him. Uh, from then, uh, Stilson ends up in uh, politics, uh, raising from being a, a town mayor who is tough on tough on youth crime, uh, lowering the crime rate by having the, the young criminals uh, beaten up instead of going through a proper legal system, uh, up to running for the presidency of the United States. Um, when Stilson and uh, Johnny's paths cross, uh, Johnny sees that uh, President Stilson uh, will cause a nuclear war, and so tries the only thing he can think of uh, to stop the uh, outcome from happening. I think uh, that uh, Stephen King's use of uh, the name uh, John Johnny Smith uh, for his protagonist is uh, trying to um, make us uh, feel that Johnny's kind of an, an everyman um, with you know an, like an everyman name, um, and that uh, his situation uh, would be very similar for us if we were in it. Um, Greg Stilson, um, uh, King has recently uh, said that uh, basically Greg Stilson was uh, his idea of the worst person uh, he could think of to become president of the United States and uh, he says basically he foresaw um, with Greg Stilson Donald Trump, the current president. Being in the UK and seeing um, how Trump is perceived over here um, and reading uh, what uh, 
Greg Steele said he's like. Um, you can see some similarities, but uh, Greg Stilson is actually is is way more extreme uh, than Donald Trump. Though uh, I wouldn't say uh, Donald Trump is too far off um, how Greg Stilson uh, is uh, the kind of man he is. Um, they seem uh, scarily similar. Um, this is another one of Stephen King's books that I enjoyed reading. Um, the story kept me hooked all the way through, and I gave this uh, on a good four stars on Goodreads. So, uh, what did you think of uh, the Dead Zone? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, and uh, remember to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.